Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park, Toledo, located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota RAV4 Limited. Now the most notable features on the Limited is this 360 degree backup camera. You also have your power moonroof along with your navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota RAV4 Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look just at the front grille, you'll see your front facing camera for your 360 degree backup camera. Over on the side you have your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you're also going to see your down facing camera on both sets of mirrors for your 360 degree backup camera with your integrated signal lamps, foldable mirrors vortex generators and if we take a look on the inside of the mirror here you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator now with your blind spot monitoring indicator it'll actually light up just looking at there's another vehicle right beside you the other nice thing is you do have the smart key system so with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you can see on the handle push on it once it'll lock all the doors automatically and then if you put your hand between the handle it'll unlock the front door for you as well now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is black. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your cinnamon leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support and if we take a look just over on your left hand side you see your mirror controls, lane departure alert, heat steering wheel, all-wheel drive lock, and power lift gate release. On the inside of your driver's side door, you'll see your seat memory controls with your window locks, power locks, and window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now, a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, scroll function, Bluetooth, mode select, voice recognition, scroll function for your multi-informational display, uh, and your uh, cruise control as well. Now you do have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at some of the controls that you'll just see on the multi-informational display, you'll see your fuel economy as well as your distance to empty, eco indicator, all-wheel drive indicator, and a sway warning. But you can also go through your navigation, audio, lane departure alert messages, and then your settings menu with your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, blind spot monitoring on and off. So when you actually turn on your blind spot monitoring, it'll actually just light up in the mirrors there for you. Now, you also have your parking sensors on and off and a couple of other additional features. Now, taking a look just at the center dash as well as the touch panel display, you're going to see a couple of different options which include your hazard lights, traction control on and off, and if you head inside the apps menu, you'll see your navigation, audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Now you do have that premium JBL sound system in there, dual zone climate control settings, and located just down below you'll see your Eco Sport as well as your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, along with your window wiper de-icer, USB and auxiliary input, and your two power outlets. Now it's mounted to an automatic transmission, and if we take a look just at the top here, you'll see your auto dimming rear view mirror and a couple of the controls you'll see up top here include your open and closed as well as your tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof along with your sunglass case holder as well now if we take a look just at the backup camera here I'm just gonna throw it into reverse so as you can see there you have those nice guiding lines and they're making things much easier for you when you're trying to back into a stall but you also have the guiding lines as well when you turn the steering wheel now if you want to change up the view of your backup camera to a more dynamic view or the traditional backup camera view itself, you can do so. The other nice thing is when you actually put the vehicle into drive, and if you see that button just located right beside your hazard lights, if you press that, you'll be able to see the front view of the vehicle. Now the nice thing with that is if you're in a park and you need to see exactly how much room there is between you and the wall, then it does definitely comes in handy. And if you keep it on the auto feature and you're traveling under 10 kilometers an hour, this uh, screen will stay on until uh, you go past that mark. Now when you're in park and you hit this button, it'll give you a nice aerial view of the vehicle, but you want to make sure you turn on the parking uh, sensors first. So to do that, just go into your settings menu and then just hit on the parking sensors. And then that way, you get that nice aerial view of the vehicle, 
and then if you hit this one down below you have a much more closer view of the ground there so if your kids like to leave their uh, toys on the driveway it definitely comes in handy that way you can see if there's any obstructions in your way just before you head off to work Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located on your rear bumper, you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across. Located on the back of the tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just located on your left hand side and then your rear hatch release located underneath your Toyota emblem. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now the nice thing is, with the limited models, it does come with the tonneau cover as well as the cargo net. And the nice thing with the tonneau cover is you can cover up your valuables just while you're going from place to place, just so people can't peer in and see what you have. Now for smaller items, you can use the cargo net, that way it's not bouncing around on the back of your cargo space while you're driving. And if you do need the additional space, you can actually fold down that 60-40 split rear seat as well. Now taking a look just underneath the floor here. You're going to see your spare tire as well as your jack and tool kit. So if you do find yourself in a bit of a pinch, you know exactly where it's located. The other nice thing about the space is that you can store your tonneau cover underneath there as well. So in the event that you have some larger items that are in the way, then you can just store your tonneau cover underneath and then use it afterwards when you're all finished. The other thing I like is that you do have the power tailgate and it's also an adjustable power tailgate. So if you need to readjust the height for yourself, hold down the button for approximately two seconds at the height you'd like it at. It'll beep a couple of times, then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height for you. However, if you need to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button again for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to this height for you. Now, a couple of the uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.